Hi there, this is Enyo. So you are tuning into my channel. So this is a channel for you to get everything Ghana from an insider's perspective. From markets to historical to cultural tours, everything. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the visuals I'll be sending your way. Also, there's more content for you and come along whilst I explore other parts of Ghana. Hit the subscribe button to see the best of Ghana. Hi guys, a massive welcome back to my YouTube channel. On today's video, we are exploring Jamestown. Jamestown is one of the oldest districts of Accra and it's a Ghana community. It's also referred to as British Accra due to the fact that it was under the British hegemony during the transatlantic slave trade. The people of Jamestown celebrate the Home War Festival and it's also the location for the most popular street art festival in Ghana called Chalewote. Today, we are exploring some hidden tunnels under Jamestown. Could you believe that there are actually hidden tunnels under all of Jamestown or certain parts of Jamestown? And so today we are going to look at these tunnels, which is believed that is connected to local slave merchant homes in Jamestown. So what happened was that the local slave merchants will get their slaves and in order to cut costs in or taxes, they would actually transport or transfer the slaves through this tunnel all the way to the beach where the ships docked and took this, these slaves away from the motherland. So I'm going to go into this tunnel and tell you what my experience was and also show you how it looks from the inside. It's really steep to get down there but let's see how it goes. So come along and let's check this place out and see what happened there and how it actually looks like. So we are currently in the tunnel. So as you can see, it's quite similar from what I have actually seen in Cape Coast and also Elmina castles. It looks actually similar to the dungeons I've seen in these two um, slave castles in Ghana. Look at actually how big it is. It also shows you the volume or the number of slaves that actually pass through these tunnels all the way to the shore. From here, we would visit the home of one of the local slave merchants who lived in Jamestown. He is called a jury and at the entrance of his house, there's a sign which says a jury Mormley. Mormley is a gown word and Mormley means tunnel. So basically what it means is a jury's tunnel. It is actually very, very hot in these tunnels. So you can imagine the situation that the slaves went through during transportation through these tunnels to the shores. There are actually no ventilations, so there were no windows for them to have fresh air. So we are leaving the tunnel and then we are visiting a jury's place as I mentioned. So uh, yeah, this is inside the tunnel where the slaves would have come out from to the sea. So I'm currently inside. Guys, it's very hot and um, this this is actually a whole tunnel system from uh, local slave merchants such as Hansen, Van der Poy and the rest who were in this area and they would have gotten their slaves to come through this whole tunnel system out these stairs to um, this side where they would have actually ended up at the beach. Yeah. The tunnel is then sealed with these wooden sticks to prevent any casualties from happening. We are currently at a jury Mormley, and this is the spot where the entrance to the tunnel from a jury Mormley started from. It has currently been sealed. We asked the family and they said it's actually a sensitive topic they wouldn't want to talk about. Where other local slave merchants engage in this activity during the transatlantic slave trade. In Jamestown, another popular person is Hansen. We were able to visit his place and also his entrance to the tunnels were closed by the family members. This is me taking a stroll on the Hansen Street because at the time we got to his place, I was out of battery power. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please share, subscribe, like, and there's more content coming for you. Bye.